Hello, my name is Pelevsky Artur. I am a researcher of Nanopharmaceutical Lab in the International Institute of Solution Chemistry of Advanced Material and Technologies. Here I want to shed some light on our last research on hemostatic nanoparticles. Our lab is primarily focused on the creation of different kinds of nanoformulated drugs intended for the treatment of thrombosis and hemostasis-related problems. We have extensive experience in inorganic materials such as magnetite and have succeeded in the creation of magnetically controlled thrombolytic nanoparticles with various properties. Previous designs nonetheless do not comprise such modalities as prolonged arrays and shielding of the loaded drug from plasma inhibitors on the way to the targeted site. So the primary purpose behind the work was to develop a small biocompatible nanocontainer with prolonged circulation in the blood but at the same time biodegradable and composed of native components. As a core substance we have chosen bovine serum albumin which is very close to human most abundant blood plasma protein, human serum albumin. The main problem that we have solved was an appropriate size of albumin nanoparticles. The standard size for albumin nanoparticles obtained by the salvation method is above the limit for intravenous injections. By tuning ionic strengths, pH and concentration of reagents, we were able to obtain tiny protein nanoparticles with size less than 20 nanometers, which was cross-linked to each other by PEG molecules. The result is nanocontainer, with an average size lower than 200 nanometers. Since our lab is focused on cardiovascular topic, we have tried to make something that was not done before in this field, targeted antifibrinolytic drug. Epsilon amino caproic acid was chosen as a drug. This compound prevents already formed clots from dissolution. The drug was loaded into nanocontainers during the synthesis and magnetically targeted modality was added using magnetite nanoparticles. We have performed a set of in vitro trials in order to estimate the loading capacity of nanocontainers, percentage of the released drug, overall structural stability in media and, of course, specific activity. Nanocontainers have proved to be effective enough to inhibit lysis of model clots. Magnetic susceptibility of nanocontainers was of sufficient level and allowed to accumulate them even under harsh flow conditions. For detailed information, please read our article.